Hey guys, welcome to my new series, uh, Backyard Bites Herping. Now, the difference between Backyard Bites and Backyard Bites Herping is because Backyard Bites Herping is going to be mostly about reptiles, I'm trying to find reptiles. But sometimes we find other animals like amphibians and insects. I just, we're here in uh, Maggie Valley, North Carolina. Staying at a cabin up here, and I just flipped a centipede. He's still under here, I'll show him to you. So I flipped a salamander a couple minutes ago, couldn't catch him. So I'll keep going and come back if I see something you guys might like to see or if I find something. And here's the creek. I'm one. So check back with you guys in a second. Alright, just found a a second animal. Now that tile but still see you guys might like to see it. A common millipede right there. Under this rock. This rock. There he is. So I'm gonna keep looking around this creek. So we have uh, sick animals of the day. Salamander there. And a salamander there. I'm just bored. I'm exploring this creek creek. Uh, then I thought it goes down. And I flipped this board and these two guys were under it. So cool. Let's keep on heading down. Alright guys, welcome to day two. We're here at Maggie Valley, North Carolina. And it rained a little bit last night, so I don't know if that's good or bad. I mean, it'll bring out the snakes in a fossorial. I don't know about the snakes that we're actually looking for, like king snakes, black rat snakes, and stuff like that. So, and we're supposed to be heading to Cherokee, North Carolina, to go to a bigger creek than the one we have here. So, hopefully we'll find something there. I'm gonna flip a couple of boards over, and then I'll get back to you if I find something. All right, guys, I'm trying to talk a little bit louder than this waterfall right here. This right here is our first animal of the day, a salamander. Let me do this rock. So if I can get him out, hey, you gotta be very tough to look at him. He shut off down that way. I tried to grab him and he got through my fingers. So we're gonna keep on moving. It looks like a pretty good creek. I'll look around here a little bit more for some more salamanders and come back if I find anything. Alright guys, second time of the day, comes in the form of a ping pong ball. Got a ping pong ball. Sitting right in there in that trap. Right in there in that tube. So, pretty cool. So, we're gonna keep looking. This is where I'm at right now. Right there. Green pipe. Green pipe. I'm gonna keep looking. And I'll check that with you if I see anything. Alright guys, I'm out here. And Climbing. I can't remember what river the name, but we're here in Tricky, North Carolina. I'm climbing this river. It's a really big river. We're going to go to another spot. But I just seen a frog here trying to lead us with a rock. Show it to you guys. This rock right here. Got a cool texture to it. So we're going to keep moving. Keep moving. See what we can find. The duck, she walked right past me. It's really cool. It's still raining, but it's lighting up a little bit. The lighting up, and it started back heavy again. So, pretty cool. Alright. So it's still raining slightly. It's mostly let up. So, I'm gonna go back to these rocks over here. Well, I didn't come here the first time, so I'm gonna go over here. As you saw a couple of minutes ago, those ducks were pretty cool. Getting out of the rain. So, we'll hopefully look for some animals we can't find every day in the sun. Hopefully the rain has brought some cool animals out. So, start looking. 
Alright guys, I just, I wanted to say discovered, but I'm at this well system, or bridge system, whatever you want to call it, like a tunnel, and the water is going to go all the way through there, that's a good place to go look for snakes, because in a storm like this, don't want to retreat where rocks are, or the fairly deeper waters, so if we can hike up through there, hopefully we can find something. Uh, both of you guys in a second. Welcome back, guys, to the last day here in Maggie Valley, North Carolina. And we're going to be leaving today, and we're going to stop, maybe stop off at a couple trails along the way back. So, hopefully, we can find some cool stuff. So, let's get started. Guys, right here near this creek, as we saw yesterday, I found this. Seems like a bone that you can see through. I thought this is pretty cool. I'll put it back. I don't, really, I don't have anywhere a place to collect bones. I do, but that's back at my house. And that's in South Carolina, so. Put this guy back. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'll show you guys. It's pretty cool find. Alright, so I took this rock and I found this cool looking grub. Now, if you don't know, grubs are beetle larvae. So that's how you do a lot of them. And that makes two and it's off a baby beetle, but I thought that's pretty cool. Let me show you. So, we're gonna hang up this tree. Guys, right here, we have the northern water snake. And I just took a bad bite from him. He was over here under this log. I grabbed his head, but not soon enough. I took a bad, bad bite. It might start bleeding a little bit, I don't know. It wasn't too bad though, but guys, this is the northern water snake. One of the more common species of water snakes we have out here in North Carolina and South Carolina. We also have them in South Carolina. But the reason I have them behind the head is they will take a nasty bite on you. If you take a bite from this guy, and it's good enough, it will make you bleed. And he stinks right now. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even hold my composure. I mean, he, this guy is awesome. If I can get a better grip on him, we can get him in a more co controlled situation. We can get more footage of him. But this is the northern water snake. And I'll come back to you in a second. And guys, remember when I was talking about the northern water snake and bite you good enough to make you bleed? There it is, he's making me bleed. He bit me on the top finger. And I think the bottom finger, I'm not sure. But yeah, I just know I got bit pretty good by this guy. <laughs> and this is a big one too. He's at least maybe two feet long. So this is a pretty good size water snake for this little size creek oh, down here. He was down here in this creek right here. That's, that's a big water snake for that creek. So, yeah, like I said, once we get in a controlled situation, I'll give you, I'll hit you with some more facts about them. Northern water snake release. And many people mis mistake these snakes for copperheads, but they're really not copperheads. They're only northern water snakes. Completely harmless, but kind of feisty. And this is an adult, so I grabbed an adult, so I was taking a chance with the bite zone. All right, here we go. Watch how fast they move. There he goes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of my new channel, Backyard Bites Herping. I know it's, it's, probably, it's called BB Herping, but that stands for Backyard Bites Herping. And I really enjoyed making this video. And the snake bite wasn't that bad. I was just saying that because I was kind of at a high point because it was very, very cool that I was able to get this on camera. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it, like I said. And I'll see you next time.